All right, get all of those blueberries out. Keep them controlled on one side of our grease 13 by nine. Yummy, blueberry pie filling. Now I'm gonna come in with some apple pie filling. And we're gonna put that right in the center. It's okay if it overlaps a little bit with the blueberries. I'm sure that's gonna taste delicious. I'm sure that's gonna be the best bite of this whole dessert. Oh yeah. Okay, so we have our blueberries, we have our apples, and we have an empty spot right there that I think we'll need something good going there. Let me get these apples out though. We want all that like jam and gooey stuff. Beautiful. Do the same thing we did with the blueberries, with the apples. That's looking good, you guys. Now we can't forget the best pie filling in the world, strawberry. And there we have it. A nice little three by three pie filling, best pie fillings right next to each other. This ensures that everyone gets what they want. Oh yeah, doesn't that look beautiful? All right, so this is a twist on the classic dump cake. So I'm gonna grab some yellow cake mix. You can use whatever cake mix you like. Vanilla works good for this, white works good for this. If you wanna be adventurous, you could try chocolate. But I love the classic yellow. It just complements the strawberries, the apples, and the blueberries oh so nicely. And we're just putting this dry cake mix right on top of all of our pie filling. And today I'm gonna to show you the secret on how to make the best dump cake. Okay, so it's not just pie filling and cake mix. You gotta make sure that that cake mix is spread it out evenly across the entire dish. Cause if one side is, you know, higher than the other, then the butter's just gonna slide right by and it's not gonna cook that side. And I know that's gonna be a little bit more difficult with these, you know, different sizes of fruits that we're using today, but we're gonna do our best to make it super even and super beautiful. Okay, this is almost ready for our last ingredient, the one that brings it all together and cooks it up. Can you guess what it is, babe? Um, I think you mentioned it, so maybe. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right, I did. Okay. okay, it is time for those beautiful butter slices. So, it is super important that when you get your butter, you cut them into thin slices just like that. And we're gonna put a slice of butter on each square footage of our dump cake. So be very meticulous when you place your butter because that is also gonna help and make sure that all of that cake mix gets nice and crispy on top of that delicious pie filling. And I know that you know most people do just one pie filling, but I have a lot of guests coming over that are picky. Some like apple, some like strawberry, some like blueberry, and this is the best way to, have, to satisfy everyone. And you could do cherry in there, you could do peaches, you can do whatever your little heart desires. And then if it doesn't, then I'll just cut a small little sliver to, to put on any spot that doesn't have butter melting on it. Oh, yeah, okay. Hey babe. Yes. Isn't that too much butter or? A stick and a half is actually the perfect amount. That's only like three fourths a cup of butter. So it's really not too much butter, you guys. Mm. Do not come at me. Let's go ahead and look at those beautiful pie fillings on the bottom. Oh, that apple wow. blueberry is gonna be incredible. My oven is set to 350 and this is gonna cook for 45 minutes. All right, well now that's in the oven. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my bowl and my whisks out of my freezer. And I know that might seem a little weird, but this is actually the best trick for making homemade whipped cream. Cause you cannot have cold whipped cream or it won't whip. All right. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, it's my best kept secret. Now I'm gonna grab some heavy whipping cream. We'll just use that whole thing, because why not? I love whipped cream. You can use it for everything. Mm -hmm, that's true. Okay, well, we're gonna add a little bit of pure vanilla extract. Just like a teaspoon right in there. Yeah, maybe a little bit more. Be nice and sweet and delicious. And yes, I did say sweet. I'm gonna add some powdered sugar in there too. Not too much or else it won't get peaks, okay? We're gonna add 
half a cup with our two cups of heavy whipping cream. Now I'm gonna go ahead and whip this up. It should be super quick and it's gonna be delicious. Ooh yeah. Okay, this is getting there. Look at those peaks starting to form. Oh my, okay, this took about five minutes, but it's so worth it, especially if you have the electric hand mixer. I mean, it does the whole job for you. Oh my, doesn't that look incredible there? Wow, it looks so creamy, and you can tell by the, the waves of it. Yeah, that this is ready. Is that why they call it peaks? Yep. Woo! Whoa. No waste here, okay. So now that's ready for our delicious dump cake cobbler. Oh my goodness. You cannot tell me that is not the most perfect dump cake you've ever seen. Wow, it looks delicious, baby. It looks incredible. Okay, I'm gonna grab some of that blueberry apple. Oh, look at that crumble on top. Oh my, that looks so good. I need more. I need more, you guys. Oh, get all that delicious flavor. Oh, and you know we cannot forget about the whipped cream. The homemade whipped cream. Ooh, Beautiful. So okay, this might be my best dessert yet. Let's give it a try. I need some of that cake mix. Not whipped cream. Be careful, it's hot. Mm. 